We're gonna do ear trimming today. Iger's gonna help us out with this. As you can see, his ear hair is long. It's not as long as some can get, but how do we trim the dog's ears for the show ring? First, they're clean and they're dry. I take a comb and I pull it, the hair down so it's all going one direction. I pull the ear flap back and I can see the line of the ear flap and the hair that overlaps and I can just trim that stuff off. So it doesn't really matter what order I'm trimming it because I'm going to neaten it up. But now I have the line of the ear and I get all the way down to the base of the ear. So I'm actually taking out quite a bit of hair with my thinning shears. I didn't show you guys these are my thinning shears. And so now I've taken off the length and it's still messy but I, I'm dealing with a lot less hair. Might take off a little bit more down the line of the ear leather. So I've got kind of a straight line and now just a lot of hair on the top of the ear. So what I will do is take my thinning shears and I trim lines of hair into the ear. Now I'm not going too deep, but I'm taking out, I'm just thinning out hair. So I, I have less hair to deal with because the ears need to be a little bit tighter. They're not super duper fluffy. And again, comb out the hair that I trimmed and come back. I'm gonna make a line with my thinners. I'm a little more careful on this line because it's the top coat. Open the ear up again, take out, follow the line a little closer. I'm taking out quite a bit of hair, but I'm doing it systematically. Good boy, Iger, You're a good boy. So now I've got a bit more of the shape of the ear. So I'm just gonna take off extra excess hair that goes outside the ear leather line. So I'm following that ear leather. And then because this is thicker hair, there's more hair here. I come in with my thinners. I go a little bit to the ear leather and taking out that hair. So I get less and less hair in the ear. Stop it, buddy, you're all right. And Iger is very typical to most dogs don't enjoy their ears being trimmed. I am taking my thinners pretty deep into this hair underneath the ear flap. Just thinning it out. A lot of people have issues with their dogs matting because this is a lot finer hair. So taking your thinner and shears and trimming that out and getting that this hair right here to be a lot flatter so you're not dealing with matting. So come in and I'm just kind of going on the top of the ear and taking out where it kind of bumps up where there's too much hair. Good boy, Iger. Continually shaping around the back end. So I don't wanna go here behind the ear. I don't wanna go too deep because it will be shown where, I, where I'm scissoring. So you just go light on the top of the ear, continually making the shape of the ear where you want it. And I'm not taking a ton of hair off. Really shouldn't see besides the line of the ear where I'm cutting because the thinning shears, that's what the thinning shears are good for. And I'm cutting out the ear so you can see where the ear is. Back here, I'm a little bit lighter on this. Don't go deep in. Good boy, Iger. Are you sitting on my comb? Because that's a good place to do that. <laughs> and now, just do a little detail work, taking out where it's, I want to take out a little bit more, make sure my line is neat on his ears. And then, voila, we have a trimmed ear. So you can tell the difference. Iger, see the difference in those ears? <laughs> and I'll come back and I'll look and I don't like a line that I see and I'll trim it up a little bit. So I can get a little bit more neater of an ear. My line needed a little bit trimming. That's what's nice about using thinning shears. So they're very forgiving. Iger's like, I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> All right. There we go. Iger. Good, good boy. There you go. There's a trimmed ear. Happy grooming. <laughs>